Okay, so just in closing, you'd be able to quantify this very quickly because you've lived in both worlds. You've lived in the rental middle of suburbia home, you know, with, you know, rates and I mean, you pay rates for land, of course, but you know, you've lived in that experience, but you've also lived in this off the grid experience. So this whole thing is really you. Absolutely. No other way. There's no going back to to Egypt, back to the chains of slavery. I would prefer not. No. This is, you know, eight years I've done now. Yeah. And um, why would I want to change that? You know, and I said I want for nothing. Everything that I need is here. I can walk to the shops, I can walk to the beach. And, yeah, it gives me so much more freedom. Which is um, the very thing that we all crave and all desire. Yeah? Yeah. What I would love is to have a eco village of small spaces. Without all the extra burdens put on that from the legislators. Just touch upon that eco village little no, thing. Well, Just can, because I think the thing is, particularly as you get older, there is that you know, a small space as a single person is could be quite isolating. So I don't fancy particularly sharing a house with lots of people. But I do like people, but I like to choose whether I spend time with them or not. So by having a, a setup which gives you your own privacy and things, but with others who share your same values of living organically, no sprays, you know, pure water, composting, growing your own food, not that I'm good at that, but I, I very much support other people doing it. Um, that really kind of floats my boat, to live with like-minded people on shared land where you have your privacy, it doesn't have to be like a commune where you all have to do everything together, that's not me, because I'm not consistent enough, I love change, so, you know, I, I, and I like my own space, I like my own solitude sometimes, but I also like company and talking and I love people, so with that kind of eco-village thing really would suit my, tick all my boxes. Jolly good. Alright, we're going to wrap it all up and thanks for giving us the grand tour. But more the insight into how you see things in terms of where we currently are around housing as a nation and the healthy alternatives, because I see this as a healthy alternative. I, you know, I experience it myself. I know what it feels like. And, um, you know, everything is taken care of. But um, thank you for that. You're very welcome. Thank you for taking the time to want to know about it. Well, I think it's really, there's lots of people that want to know about it. And for someone that's living it, you know, as you say, eight years you've been doing this. Well, that's eight years of history that someone who might be thinking of doing this tomorrow has never ever had. So... And it gives a visual insight into some glimmer of hope that there is another way around. Yeah, and mm. you know, for a proper kind of land, that's the way to go. Yeah, then you don't, you're not caught up in that whole thing. So just Māori have it down pat. That's how. That's the way to live. And that shared, you have the shared space. You have the community, and um, you have lots of little houses. It gives people that sense of home, sense of belonging. Hmm. You know, we're, we're, that's, that's the way forward. Yes, you've always said that actually. Yeah. That the indigenous races of the world will lead us forward. Yeah, it will lead us out of this mess that we caused. Well, we'll sign off there and all good. We'll catch you on the flip side, Fano. Thank you. Ooh.